Mr. Gray. Well, it's a good afternoon, isn't it? This is my first trip here. And through the years, I have missed a lot by not being here. I'm 92 years old. Is there anybody here older than that? This fellow here, I was in the 29th Blue and Gray Division in the National Guard, but I got smart and joined the Navy. <laughs> he made a big mistake. <laughs> it's great to be here with you today. I had enlisted the day after Pearl Harbor on December the 8th. 1941. I was in the College of Pharmacy and Medicine at Ohio State University. I had just completed two years. I went down and resigned from the college. Now I don't know for sure whether I was patriotic or not, but at that time I was eating crackers and milkshakes. <laughs> And I knew if I joined the Army, I'd get three square meals a day. <laughs> Time has gone fast. And I appreciate all of you being here today. My buddies, my friends, and my daughter, Linda, my grandson, Jay, and her husband, John, and they brought me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be with you here today. After I had enlisted, I left Columbus, Ohio, for Camp Kilmer, New Jersey. Not Camp Kilmer, I was at Camp Roberts, California. I took my basic training in combat intelligence. But after that, I wanted to continue my education in medicine. So I asked for a transfer. I was in the... Okay, Miranda. I was in the laboratory at Camp Roberts, California, in the medical. So anyway, I left there after a year or so went to Fort Sill. At Fort Sill, I received orders that I would be going overseas. I didn't know when or where I was going. I went to Columbus, Ohio, to Shenango, Pennsylvania. And from Shenango, Pennsylvania, Ruthie and I were married. And she's my sweetheart yet today, 68 years. I was discharged on September the 25th, 1945, on my wife's birthday, after almost three years having seen her. And boy, that night was terrific. I served in the 29th Division at Omaha Beach. I trained for over a year at Slapton Sands in England, not knowing what that would lead to. It was similar to the beach as you see out here where the demonstration of D-Day will be taking place. After we had come, we, we were in dress rehearsal. We were in dress rehearsal at Slapton Sands. That was our last training. From there, we were sent to uh, Southampton under guard. And we studied overlay maps 
as to where we should be at certain times on the beach. Our orders at that time as a combat medic, we were not to take care of anybody wounded on the beach. We were supposed to be moving so fast that we couldn't stop to take care of any wounded. The Navy would take care of the wounded. But as you know, it didn't turn out that way. I had over 150 more pinks or rats on me that morning, and I used every one of them. And some that I used are not with us today. They died on the beach at Omaha. It was chaos in the bowels of hell, is the best I can demonstrate it to you. I was fortunate. Later in that morning, as I was taking care of another soldier, I didn't realize it. I used my last charrette, warping charrette on it. And just about five seconds after that, I was hit twice, paralyzed in my left arm and hit in my right leg. I didn't have any morphine to give myself. <laughs> but nevertheless, I spent a year, I'm, no, I'm sorry, I spent a month in the hospital in England. I was paralyzed in my left hand. And uh, I kept moving a little sponge ball. I got movement. I still have 12 pieces of shrapnel in my arm today. When they take an x-ray of it, they don't know what it is, but I have to tell them. <laughs> you know? What? After the being in the hospital, I requested to be sent back to my own outfit. It was at, they were stationed outside of St. Lo. I was there on July the 15th. We liberated St. Lo on July the 18th. When we walked through St. Lo, you could hardly see any buildings standing. But just before that, the Air Force was supposed to bomb St. Lo. They missed it. They bombed us instead. That's where General McNair was killed by his own Air Force. We liberated St. Lo. They turned us around. We went for a uh, to the submarine bins, and we took those, plus the Canary Islands, and there, on into France, Holland, Belgium, and Germany. I was at Hitzacker on the Alb River when war was over. That was my last combat. And I was tickled to death. I don't know whether any of huh? My time is up. <laughs> Hooray! He's a special